gruesome footage has revealed how bombardier beetles cause toads to vomit them up after being eaten alive. These remarkable beetles eject 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, toxic chemicals from their abdomen into the toad's stomach, causing them to regurgitate their meal. Researchers found that 43% of beetles in their study were able to escape unharmed from the digestive juices of the toad's stomach within 12 to 107 minutes. Scientists believe this beetle has also developed greater tolerance to toad digestive juices, meaning it can survive while it's waiting for the toad to vomit. Scroll down for video. Experts led by Kobe University found the bombardier beetle, scientific name Pheropsophis jesuensis, discharged boiling chemicals called quinones and water vapor. They studied a toad, a species of the Bufo genus, who readily swallow the beetle under lab conditions. On average, the toad vomited the beetle 44 minutes after swallowing it and the regurgitated beetle was still alive and active, researchers found. All toads avoided the bombardier beetles just after vomiting them, lead researcher Dr. Shinji Sugirwa from Kobe University told Mail Online. Therefore, toads can learn the body color and shape of bombardier beetles, although some toads may have a poor memory. Bombardier beetles have two separate sections that contain chemicals that are harmless on their own but when they react together have a devastating effect. When threatened, the beetles can force the chemicals into the same chamber of their body. This starts a series of events that involves enzymes, hydrogen peroxide and chemicals called hydroquinones. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into boiling water and gas, while the hydroquinones break down into benzoquinones. These are highly irritating chemicals that have been known to stain human skin and irritate the eyes. When these chemicals come together, a large amount of energy is released which vaporizes some of the liquid as well raising its temperature to around 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Toads have to invert their stomachs to vomit, which is why it takes such a long time for them to regurgitate the beetle. Only a few animals escape from inside amphibians probably because strong acids kill most prey in their stomachs shortly after they are swallowed. The bombardier beetle species may have evolved a high tolerance for toad's digestive juices, Dr. Sugirwa added. It's also possible, however, that the chemical secretions from the beetle reduce the potency of the toad's digestive fluids and enzymes. This would mean the toad's stomach was less well equipped to kill the beetle. Researchers found large beetles escaped more frequently than small beetles, and small toads vomited the beetles more frequently than large toads. They believe this could be because large beetles can eject more defensive chemicals and small toads have a lower tolerance to toxins. Our results demonstrate the importance of the prey-predator size relationship in the successful escape of prey from inside a predator, researchers wrote in a paper outlining their findings. More than 600 species of bombardier beetles can discharge the hot chemicals.
However, this is the only species to have been seen to successfully use the spray to escape from the inside of a predator. Successful escape from predators' digestive systems has been reported in several animal species, a blind snake from a toad, adult diving beetles from a toad, a carabid beetle larva from a frog, horsehair worms from fishes and frogs and land snails from birds, researchers wrote. However, the ecological factors determining successful escape remain unexplored. We showed that the bombardier beetle Pigesso insis ejects toxic chemicals inside the toad, thereby forcing the toad to vomit, they wrote. The full results of the study were published in the journal Biology Letters.